What is the future of Boeing's fleet lineup? In today's video, we'll go over the current Boeing lineup, what opportunities exist, and the future of the American aviation industry. Now, this is very much my personal opinion and a fun little video, so just strap in and let's look at the three aircraft of the future. Thanks for checking in for today's quick take video. If you enjoy, then stick around and subscribe. In a previous video, I touched on how aircraft manufacturers have not really brought anything truly game-changing to the market in recent years. Well, now it's time for me to put my brain where my mouth is and come up with three new aircraft for Boeing's commercial aircraft lineup from 2030 and beyond. To start, we need to know where we are today with Boeing. Currently, their market can be divided up to into three sections. The narrow body short haul aircraft market, the wide body medium haul market, and the long haul high capacity market, with a few planes in each to boot. Boeing has actually done this before with three different Project Yellowstones for each market segment when designing a new aircraft. So starting with the smallest is the Boeing 737 MAX series, which has taken over Boeing's short haul market and is their current only offering, compared to Airbus who has two different planes in the same market segment, a video that you can see here. The Boeing 737 MAX has also replaced the Boeing 757 in this space. Then we have the Boeing 787 that occupies the middle of the market space for Boeing. This plane series has virtually replaced the 767, earlier versions of the Boeing 777 and has become a very popular aircraft indeed. Lastly, we have the long haul large range aircraft market. Boeing has enjoyed this success for a very long time in the space with the Boeing 747, but has now switched over production from the Queen of the Skies to the 777X. Sales have been a little bit slow for the 777X, but not because it's a bad plane, but rather market forces and an overabundance of secondhand large aircraft on the market, which can only take so many big planes and have led to less sales of new big planes. The 777X will also be a replacement for airlines looking to upgrade to larger aircraft from previous 777-300 series. Thus, that is where Boeing is at, in a rough market segmentation. However, we can already start to see some cracks in their lineup. The Boeing 737 series is pretty old, having first been developed well over 60 years ago and suffering for its sins. Whilst the 737 MAX is a great plane on paper, its recent troubles have highlighted issues with its design and have led to calls for Boeing to come up with a true 737 successor that is totally a radical new concept. As for the middle of the market, the Boeing 787 has held down the fort for a long time, but we could see an update to the design, such as a 787X or a new plane to fill this space by 2030 or 2040 when new technologies will enable even more incredible flight journeys. Lastly, the upper market has suffered greatly in recent years with airlines shifting away from hub-to-hub -hub model and to more spoke-to-spoke. -spoke. Bypassing mega airports like London and New York, airlines can save on complex landing fees and offer passengers a quicker route to their destinations. While there always will be demand for large planes, there will be more of a focus on long haul distant journeys rather than size. Airlines will offer large comfortable planes that can fly well over 20 hours to link far remote places, just like Project Sunrise from Qantas, which will link New York and London to Sydney, Australia. But I'm not ignoring the speed factor. With new supersonic aircraft potentially entering the market in the next decade, we might see Boeing start research on its own concept, or perhaps more likely, buy into a successful firm for its own sales. So what would we exactly imagine the lineup here at Found and Explained for the future of Boeing? What would their catalogue look like in 2030 or 2040? Let's just have a little bit of a brainstorm. 
For the short haul market, we have the Boeing 737-787 hybrid based off the 787-3 model that would fill in the market gap. It would look like an early concept of the 797 and would fill a similar role for airlines looking for passenger capacity between 150 to 250 seats. Thanks to a composite structure much like the 787, it would have unmatched fuel efficiency and unmatched range, and would also be a direct competitor to the A320neo market. Likely there would also be three or four other variants of this design, with a smaller one to cover the 737 MAX 8 market, the most popular type, and a longer range version to be a direct competitor against the Airbus A321 XLR, and then lastly a high capacity aircraft to fill in that bottom end of the middle of the market. Next up, Boeing will need an aircraft that is an improvement over the Boeing 787. One possible idea is that they might have success with a project called the Ecoliner, essentially by turning the 787 into a double-decker plane. Boeing will be able to offer double the seating capacity of the 787-8 for roughly the same economics to fly, plunging the seat price and being a huge win for customers. Or alternatively, and far more realistically I must add, Boeing will develop a twin aisle mid-tier aircraft that is a step up from the small plane and filling the 250 seater market. Lastly, Boeing will improve on the design of the 777X for its long range ambitions, combining both the 777-8 and the 777-9, having the best range and the best seating capacity of both to make the perfect long range high capacity aircraft. Then again, perhaps all of this is baloney and Elon Musk will be flying us anywhere we want to go in the world on his rocket in just 45 minutes, with then a hyperloop taking us the rest of the way. Like with all things future-minded, it can be hard to predict or be confusing exactly how these things will pan out, and we very well could be right on the edge of a brand new way to travel. Of course, I personally am holding out for one of those Star Trek inspired teleporters. Enterprise. Transporter room energize. Thanks so much for watching the video today. If you have an idea for the next video on the channel, hit me up down in the comments below and chat. I do actually read all of the comments on the channel, both good and bad, so don't feel like you're being unread. And if you want to support the channel more, I have a Patreon where you can go behind the scenes, see videos when they come out early, live streams, and then there's also some other great perks as well. Thank you again so much for watching.